There is no more no man's land. to an end by royal proclamation. Parliament adjourns for services at St. Margaret's Church. But ceremony soon is drowned out by celebration at the gates of Buckingham Palace, in Piccadilly Circus and Trafalgar Square. By the sound of bells ringing in unison all over London. In America, where the news of armistice arrives at 3 a.m., the crowds first appear in pajamas and overcoats, and some in influenza masks. A presidential message proclaims, armed imperialism is at an end. jubilee is in Paris. Paris, which in these four years has often heard the noise of menacing guns, is now filled with the sound of crowds singing the Marseillaise. There is singing in the Chamber of Deputies. And then, 77-year-old Premier Clemenceau struggles home to announce, since this morning I have been kissed by 500 women. George's bitter epigram is forgotten. This war, like the next war, is a war to end war. Tonight, the final entry will be written in the French Army's Journal of Communiques. Closed because of victory. The last word is victory, not peace. Peace.